Okay. Ruta? Yes, Dada. Come here. Yes. Did you brush your teeth in the morning? Yes, Dada. Mm. Do you have neem in your toothpaste? What? What's this new thing? Listen, yesterday I teacher in school and I'm coming home. Mother explained me the difference between natural and man-made things. In the class, teacher was telling us that in olden times there was no such thing as toothpaste. Oh, I forgot what she said about people used for brushing teeth. So, did she say tooth cleaning sticks? What stick? Whatever you said now about whether there is neem in our toothpaste. In olden times, people used to brush their teeth with neem sticks, acacia sticks, peel of pomegranate, ash, charcoal powder, etc. So, there was no such thing as toothpaste. You ash peel. <laughs> All these are natural things and have medicinal properties which work the same as today's toothpaste. But these natural things perish quickly. So that's how this chemically formed toothpaste has come in the market. It is easy to use and good for your teeth as well. But Dada, with what is the our toothpaste made of? <laughs> Ruta, in this paste the main ingredients are calcium carbonate and calcium hydrogen phosphate. Because of them, the dirt on the teeth goes away and makes them shine. <laughs> and also, there is another ingredient called fluoride, which keeps the teeth strong. It is important for the enamel of the teeth. Shall I tell you one funny thing? Earlier in China, Greece and Rome, people used to make toothpaste out of bones and seashells. That toothpaste was similar to our present day toothpaste and was made first in the 19th century. Oh, great! Okay, now like all Sundays, we are going to do one experiment. Yes! Take this bottle with you. Open the bottle. I have already added water into it. Okay? okay. Now, add some oil into it. Mm. Careful. Oh. Yes, that's enough. Now, okay. Keep the bottle aside now. Yes. So tell me, what do you see in this? Hmm. The oil is floating in the water. Hmm. Okay. Now shake the bottle. Hmm. Okay. Now tell me, what happened? Oh, the water is settled. And the oil is coming back to the top. Yes. Okay. Now open the bottle. Yes. Now add some detergent to it. A little bit more. Okay. Now close the bottle again. Yes. And shake it. <laughs> okay. Now tell me, what happened? Mm, the oil and water have got mixed and the color of the water has changed. Yes. Okay, very good. Correct. Now tell me, why this happened? After adding detergent powder. Yes, correct. Shall I tell you what the detergent did? See, the molecules of detergent are more long and they have opposite qualities. So, on the one hand, the detergent molecules holds the molecule of water, while on the other hand, it holds the molecules of oil. So, the molecules of oil, which were not mixing with the water molecules, got mixed due to the detergent and the water color changed. The detergent has the quality of spreading on the surface. It is called surface tension and these substances are called as surface active agents. What are they called? Look here. What happens when we take a bath or a head bath? Tell me. Um, when we have a bath with soap, then lather gets formed and the dirt on our body goes away. The oil applied on our hair goes away and they get cleaned. Correct. The formation of lather is a sign of surface tension. So, the same soap or shampoo would be a foaming agent. Did you understand? So, earlier we used to wash our hair with shikakai and rita. The dirt on the hair used to go by using them. These are 
natural surface active agents they are environment friendly and not harmful but dada now we use soap and shampoo and detergent right yes but these are man made surface active agents they last long and are effective they are easy to use and easy to get they are now available in natural herbal and chemical varieties isn't it yes dada our experiment today was great and it was fun um let me now go and do practical and surface tension okay but before that just note down everything that we observed today okay okay yeah then after that can we have breakfast yes yeah, sure bye bye